This is code.org. Let's see what we're working on. Using math to figure it out. Computers use math to figure out whether two things are touching. Look at the math on line 17 and 18. Oh, goodness. Okay, I'm going to zoom out some, I guess. Wow, that is, that's a lot. All right, look at the math on line 17 and 18 of this program. See how the sprite properties are compared with their width to see whether they are touching. Okay, so if the bunny's X is greater than dinner's X, and the bunny's X minus dinner X is less than half the width of the bunny and the width of the dinner. Okay, so what's going on there? It's saying, okay, is the bunny's X value half or, or greater than dinner? So the bunny must be on the left headed towards the right. And if it's greater than dinner, it's either past or it's touching dinner. Now it, what it says is, wait a minute though, and, right, so if this is true, it doesn't matter unless this is also true, which is the bunny's X value minus the dinner's X value is less than the width of the bunny divided by two plus the width of the dinner divided by two. So it's saying how large they are, how wide they are, add those together and make sure that it's less than the X location of the bunny minus the X location of the dinner. So what it's saying here is, are they touching, right? And the, or is, is the bunny touching or past the dinner? Okay, so that if that's true, then also, and is the bunny touching? And the reason the way they're doing that is let's subtract their x locations, right from one another. Now is that less than how wide they are? Because if it is less than how wide they are, they w must be touching. Same things happening here, dinner, bunny less than dinner, and and bunny minus dinner greater than same idea here. So this is checking if it is touching on the right side and the left side. Pretty complicated. Stop everything and change to an empty bowl. Oh, okay. So if the bunny touches the bowl, stop everything. Keep in mind, this is an or statement, which means if they're touching in the front or in the back. If this is true or this, just one of these things has to be completely true when this code runs. Yikes. All right. Discuss your code with your partner. Why does the code use the width and x properties and not the height? Well, it must, yeah, it's using x, x, and width because it's, they must be on the ground. They're moving left and right. And so it needs to know how wide they are to know like where the edge of their stomach is. So if they're actually touching, would you want to write this code every time you check whether something was touching? No, 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 I would not. All right, why does the code use X? And so I'm going to write something. Plagiarism is an issue in utterly unacceptable. I'm writing something and going to discuss it. You need to come up with your own answer and your own thoughts. You found this video. Your teacher will too, right? Plagiarism checks easy. If you're my student, I wrote this. Make sure you have your own answer. <laughs> why does this code? All right. What I said, the width property is used, and keep in mind when you hit run, this submits to your teacher, so don't hit run until you consider everything. The width property is used when the sprites are moving left and right because we must know the edge of the, of where, we must know where the edge of the sprite is. The height does not matter if we are considering left or right or X movement. Using the width, we can determine the edge of the sprite. I absolutely would not want to write this code. Again, make sure you're explaining that in your own words, but we're going to get into some collision detection in this lesson. Let's check this out. Oh no, and the bull's food disappeared the second their belly hit. Pretty cool. Onward. 